It's me, Keegan. And me, JC. And Brittany. And Eric. And you're watching the Smoky Mountain Family. And today we are doing the Sugarlands Valley Trail here. Uh, so this is as soon as you pass Sugarlands Valley uh, or Sugarlands Visitor Center on the way into the park. It's one of the first pull-offs to the left. It's uh, actually an ADA accessible, so it's paved all the way through. And uh, so we're going to get Crazy it. mother... You see it? Right over there. You don't see that? Bigfoot. That's Bigfoot right there. Hold on. You see it down there? Right over there? You see it? I think it's Bigfoot. I'm done with Bigfoot. Brittany, Brittany, look. You see that over there? Okay, what's the kid's name? Mm -mm. We don't talk about Bigfoot. That's Bigfoot right there. No. Dennis Martin? Yeah, don't Google it. Don't do it gives you a little bit of information about it. So it says a century ago, this river valley was mostly cleared, farmhouses, fence lines, and dirt paths crisscross the landscape. So corn and grain grew where tulip trees and pines now thrive. A few hints of that era survive. So we'll point out the still standing things there. What I like about this trail is it's easy. Like my grandparents would come and take me on this one. I'm very familiar with this one. Um, my uncle would come here and he was on the spectrum towards the end. He was in a wheelchair, was still able to get out and do a trail that you feel like you're in the Smoky Mountains. One of my favorite things is like the stream here and it's really easy to get to so you can still experience the water on an ADA, is that the right word? Mm -hmm. Accessible trail. We've done like Easter here before we knew like Gatlinburg has their own Easter thing. We've hid Easter eggs for the girls out here. You can hear cars. Yeah. On this trail. That's one thing that's going to be with you throughout. Now, as you get down towards the river a little bit more, it kind of drowns it out. But for the most part, um, you'll hear this throughout the trail. Now, I just want to point out, as soon as we started on this trail, like you're just enveloped by all this green. Mm -hmm. And it's that new, fresh spring green. So it just, and the, the smell here, I mean, even though we're, we're literally right off the road, um, you can smell it. It smells so good. It smells, you've entered the forest. You're coming up on your first little bridge here. I think might be the only bridge. First little bridge that you'll get to. And then there's these little things, plaques along your way. And you'll have different information. So yeah, you can find that little guy here. It says. So you can see it just kind of shows the surrounding area. Quickly here, you come up on your first little taste of what it was. So here's a chimney here. And for now, if you can see it yet, you can see already another chimney there. So spot where you could sit. You yeah. can see the last bench from where we're standing here. Look at these mushrooms. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, girls, look. Oh my god. They look juicy. They do. <laughs> they look like a pancake. Oh, and they're growing up here on this tree. Growing out of this tree. Look. Which, by the way, this tree, if you could see up, it looks really cool. Those are like my favorite types of trees. Or they have like the white. I think those are like birch trees, I think. Right? There's so many butterflies. Yeah, there's like four butterflies. And that's the second like chimney that Brittany was talking about there. Like, look at this chimney. You can still see the wood. Like, these are rocks from that creek. I'm pretty certain someone has used this recently. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's all out, guys. It's all out. That's cute, isn't it, Keith? Do you hear it? So now you're starting to kind of hear the cars fade away and okay. the creek or the river. Um, the sounds of the river starting up here. The girls love this. Sometimes if they just want to play in the creek in like the chimney top picnic area, which is our go-to, is full. Stop at this one. This tree is growing on top of this rock. <laughs> like how? Like it's not moving. Oh. <laughs> like that's I think that speaks to how much rain this place gets, precipitation throughout the year. Look at those big deep. There's areas oh, where there's yeah. like trees that grow on top of fallen trees or trees that grow on top of tree limbs that really only happen in the uh, like rainforest type areas and it oh, happens here. Yeah, yeah. One of my goals here when I was a kid was to find like the smoothest, littlest rock 
I'd give it to my grandpa and he would like keep it in his pocket with his change. I would start at one spot in the river and then try to rock hop downstream just as far as I could. Downstream or across? No. Mine was downstream. I wanted to go downstream, uh -huh. but of course I'm not letting our kids do that. Cause... Yeah, you can't travel much. I feel like I got away with a lot with my grandparents, but yeah, yeah. I couldn't go downstream like that. I couldn't nah. go across. No, nah. no. Look at these two with their bare feet. It's a good thing we don't have smell of vision right now. I just want you to look at how clear this water is. Did you look at it? Oh yeah, yeah. You took the plunge. I'm so mad I didn't catch that on camera. You have to have cameras rolling constantly on camera. We need like a regular cam and a key cam. Check out this route though. Oh, where's the tree at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's that tree? There's that tree. It's a long route. You ready to go? All right, let's pack it up. Y'all ready? No, no. Oh. Hey. Hey. You gonna come get in this water? No. Why? Keegan, JC, hey! No? What y'all got going on over so here? This is our protein channel, and this is our soup, and these are our plates. Soup and what? That's plates right there? Uh, sorry. That's crazy. Like, when you're a kid, coming down here, you wait sometimes a whole year to come down. Yeah. And now our kids are in a position where we can, like, just come down here after school. All right, we're done for, with, with stream time. We're going ahead back up to the trail. This is only a 0.5 mile loop, but if you take your time and appreciate it, like towards some other hikes that we start to film, I'm going to get like the step count and like the time that we started and the time that we stopped. This one is just situational, just because if you take time to get off the trail and just sit and play could take a little bit longer so I didn't tell the time. Here's a fence. It's the old rock fence up here. So according to that hiking trails of the Smokies book, they normally did this when they had gardens to keep animals out of the gardens. I'm sure there were property boundary type fences as well. We're coming up on this another little information thing here. Oh wow. Yeah, basically that talks about how the, um, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is the only national park in the national park system that uh, was bought up from private lands. So they had to buy each parcel of land individually. What if they were like, no? Um, most often, if they really did, like the, the Walker, Walker sisters, sisters. Uh, a lot of times they had a lifetime, I think it's called a lifetime lease or a lifetime something or other, and they were allowed to actually stay on the park until... They passed away. There's another little path to get to the stream. Walker sisters are baddie. They were like, nah, you can't buy me. Yeah, you can't, have you can't buy me. <laughs> they were on like, what was it, the Saturday, Saturday evening post? Or some sort of publication like that. And drew a lot of people to the park. So them actually staying and putting up the fight with the park actually brought a lot of people to this park. It was a win-win. Now they're sitting, like you could see since we've been talking, there's been multiple places to just sit and enjoy the stream. Look at these things here, really, guys. Do you know what I used to do with uh, Uncle Little One? No. I would tell him that the number on here was how many bears killed people. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> I don't know. It's a sibling thing, you know? Hashtag brother. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I didn't say he was gonna get eaten. <laughs> Here's another little lookout. This is a closer lookout where you don't have to like go down if you can't go down. 
the little areas we showed, you can get a really good view here. You hear that? That's the Smokies right there. Tree there. This, it's, that's random, like this one tree. I've not seen it on other ones. I've just carved it. Don't do that. Yeah. And it just follows this, you can hear it, it just follows the stream, this entire half of the loop. Another setting area. There's a little fence here because it's a pretty steep drop off. I'm not sure if this was here from the settlers or the park did this, but this is a little bit of a drop to get to this stream. I never really went to this stream. I feel like there's more bugs here for whatever reason. Yeah. Like this is Nat Central right you here. See the, the, the main river over there. Yeah. This is it's almost like still meeting. almost. Yeah. And then we start to turn here and you're going to get away from the stream. You still have a stream over this side, but when we make this curve here, we're getting away from the stream and you you're going to hear- the highway again, back over here. You actually see one of the bridges. Yeah, a limbo. <laughs> yeah, it <does>. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it does like a, it's like a Tim Burton tree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a Nightmare Before Christmas tree right here. What was that, Keegan? Something fell off the tree. <laughs> Me and Keegan went walking by our house and we heard like a little rustling. It, it was not little, it sounded big. And so we like immediately stopped. We were like frozen. We're like, oh my gosh, we really did run into a bear. And then we stopped and stared and it was this little squirrel. He was making way too much noise to be that little. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of times you think you hear a bear. Probably Squirrels are just loud, man. Yeah, cause up here there's so many trees and leaves. And they, they just jump. Yeah. Like, like they're, they they're just- They're not like normal squirrels no. at all. Free falling. Okay, did you find that lizard? No, it's bright red too. Oh, he's he probably down by the creek. Oh. Mm. Oh, look, we did see butterflies. I don't think we've seen that butterfly. We saw like blue butterfly. Look at the baby bird. Oh, what's that over right there? There's something red. Hold on. <laughs> so it says that the. There's 130 types of, this is just discovered, 130 types of trees, 58 kinds of fish, 1,500 flowering plants, and more than 200 bird species. It wasn't a lizard, just a piece of bread. Oh, Keegan. You hear that? <laughs> what is it? Oh, it is a squirrel. He's a nut. Where? Oh, there he is. He's just, just a scavenger. Look at him. He's not thick though. Aww. Zoom in a bit more. Can we zoom in on him? That's as far as we can zoom in on that squirrel. Aww. <laughs> There's another <laughs> sitting that. spot here. Just in case you get tired, need a break. That tree's cool. You see that? Here's the other side of that fence. Maybe like a hiking stick, but it just can't really use one type of trail, huh? Oh, Littlefoot would love these leaves. <laughs> you see how big these leaves are? They're tree stars. That's a tree star. This is such a big clearing here. Yeah, it is. Cause like I mean, here's this. <laughs> here's this. It's, yeah, regenerating the forest. Oh, wow, look at the house. Oh, I sure still like, how come it's not like that anymore? They bought them out. Okay, so that is the hike. We're at the end. So what do you rate it, Jay? A nine? nine? That's because there was just too much things that they made better stuff. Oh, she likes the the all natural. Yeah, she likes the dirt <laughs> trails and all that. Yeah. What do you write it, Keith? Uh, I rated it a uh, nine two, just because again the same reason as Jay. I still like these trails, but I would have rather had the other trail. But besides I, that, I really like it. I think we're on the same lines. I rated it about a nine, just no like having it be where you feel like you're in the Smokies, you have that stream, but also a lot of people.
people could get to it like that's appreciative so i'm going to give it a 10 i don't think it could be any better than it is uh for what it is like this isn't necessarily a hike it's a walk and it's for everyone it's you know it's inclusive to you know people that may have difficulty getting around small children like you know the park needs something like this and uh so uh, for what it is i give it a 10. it's really nice right beside the the river here um you know zero you, incline zero incline and what it, if there is any it would be paved anyway so i mean it's a you know for what it is it's a 10 so all right okay, make sure to like subscribe and turn on notifications and all that jazz and we'll see you next time bye bye, bye.